y equal x plus 7. Okay, let my x, let my x, okay, is a subject. In another word, just serve for x. That's all. Exactly the same what you normally do in solving equations. In fact, just recap, okay, let's say, let's say y is 10. 10 equal to x plus 7. So what do you normally do? That's right, you minus 7 on both sides, correct? So that cancel out. So that means it's 10 minus 7 equal x, then x is 3. Okay, so that's how you solve the equation, right? So we do changing the subject of the formula is exactly the same, except when you do solving, you can find out the numbers. Where in this case, you can not, okay? Because you they're, they're all algebra. Okay, let's get into this. So first of all, and you know that you have to solve for x. So therefore, you move everything on one side and um, leave x by itself. So the way to go about this is I move this 7 on that side. So now, it's become y minus, because it's 7, move on the side, become minus. So minus 7 is equal to x. Okay, that's all. So therefore, okay, x is equal to y minus 7. Okay, so that's the answer. Now, let me run this one here. Okay, let's say y equal to x plus c. So same thing, my x as a subject. Now, to do this, again, all you need to do, you minus c on this side, you minus c on this side. But you cannot simplify, right? Because they're not like terms. So you write y minus c. Okay, this is cancel out. So it's equal to x. Okay, so therefore... Okay, x is equal to y minus c. Okay, that, that's all it is. Now, let me move the next one down here. Okay, let make, um, let me make, make it easy. m, okay, let, let's make m as a subject. In another word, just solve for m. That's all. Now, to solve for m, remember, you get rid of the 5. Okay, you divide by 5. You divide by 5 on this side as well. This 5 cancel out. So you left with m is equal to np all over 5. So therefore, m equal np over 5. That's all. Okay, so just simple as that. It's exactly the same as solving equation, except you cannot simplify. That's all. That's the only different. Okay, let's say this one here, c circumference of a circle is 2 pi r okay if you notice that now let my r as a subject in another word again so for r so what i do i make r by itself okay so that means 2 pi r it means 2 pi time r to get rid of it i want to r by itself i do opposite see i divide by 2 pi and i divide by 2 pi here so this disappear see so now Okay, c over 2 pi is equal to r. But we don't write like that, right? We just rewrite, write r on this side. So therefore, okay, c, I mean r equals c over 2 pi. You see, very simple. Just keep it simple. And then in, in fact, this is called one step equation even. Because you only do one step and you get the answer, okay? Except with equation, you can get the answer with the specific numbers, where this one just algebra. So just, just like that, okay? It's not as hard as you think. So let's go. This one here. Now the distance, okay, travel is equal to speed time time. Okay, if you recognize that. D equal S time T. So let my S as a subject, okay? S is a speed. Let make a speed as a subject. So to make speed S is a subject, which means so for x. So we get rid of everything. We want to leave x by itself. So what we do, we just divide everything by t. That's all. We divide this by t. So that t cancel out. So s is equal to d over t. Therefore, I write s equal d over t. You see? Now let this let's let this do this question here. So x is equal to 5y over 8. Now, let's make y as a subject, okay? Let's solve for y. 
in another word. Okay, so let's make keep it simple. So to do this, now remember two way to do it. Okay, so the one the the way I use is this. I say x is just like x over one. You see? Okay, now this is just like this. Okay, just rewrite this out so you can see. I if I rewrite, this is just like that. There you go. By y over eight. This is what that means, right? If I write over one. Okay. So then the way to go about this, I do cross multiply. That means 8 times x is 8x. Sorry, 8x. So 8x is equal to 1 times 5y is 5y. Okay. Now, then remember, I want, I want to solve for y. My y as a subject. So what I do, I just divide by 5. I make y by itself. Divide by 5. Okay. So therefore, I run a space here, I just write here, okay? Therefore, okay, y is equal to 8x over 5, okay? This is one way of doing it, okay? I'll show you a different way. Now, or you can solve by just time by 8 on both sides. First, get rid of the bottom first, time by 8. So this means that x times 8 is 8x is equal to this cancel out. By y, okay, it looks simpler, right? So it's some people like this and some like the other one, okay? So whichever way you like, just pick one you like with one method and stick to it. So I divide by 5 both side. So you got therefore y is equal to 8x over 5. You see, that's how it works, okay? Right, let's move on next one. This one here, okay. Let my make a okay a as a subject. Now volume is equal to one third of area time height. Now you want a as a subject. So first thing is I want to get rid of the bottom first, which is one third, is you want to get rid of the three first. I time three on both sides. See? So this three cancel out. So this means that 3v is equal to ah. Then because I want to find x a by itself, so which is divided by h, you divide by h. So this gone. Okay. So therefore, a sorry, 8 is equal to 3v over h. Okay. So that that's all. Now let's move on this one here. Volume of a volume of a cylinder, okay, is pi r square h. Now um, let me make um, h as a subject. Okay, so in another word, so for x h. So to do this, I want to get rid of the pi r square because I want h by itself. So I divide by pi r square. Divide by pi r square. So that cancel out. So h is equal to v over pi r square. I write therefore h is v over pi r square. Okay, let's look at this one here. I equal p r n. Okay, let's make p as a subject. Okay, so in another word, so for, so for p. Correct? Now, because I want to solve for P, so I get rid of Rn. So I divide by Rn. I divide this by Rn. That's all. So you got therefore P equal I over Rn. That's all. Okay, this one here. Let my, um, the, let my H as a subject, okay? So you can see area of a, this is actually an area of a trapezium. Area of a trapezium is a half of h a plus b. Okay, let me make it simple first. So let's say my h as a subject. Okay, so for x in another word. Okay, please keep that in mind for me. It's just like equation, exactly the same, except you cannot simplify, that's all. So first of all, I want to get rid of the two first. Because a half, that means two down at bottom. So get rid of two first, 
by time 2 on the left, I mean on the right, and then time 2 on the left. So this means that these two cancel out. So it's live with on the left 2 times i is 2i. Is equal to h okay, open bracket i plus b. Okay, now remember we're gonna solve for h, so we want h by itself. So I wanna get rid of this by do opposite. So divide by i plus b, i divide by i plus b. Okay, so that cancel out. So therefore, I write here, therefore, h is equal to 2i all over i small i plus b. Okay, thank you so much for watching my videos.